Running away, aka Jackpa, the new normal. At first, Jackpa started as a joke, but it very quickly became the norm in the past four years. Nigerians travel out to search for greener pastures and security. Families are separating very early on. Parents are separated from their kids. Siblings are torn apart. More than looking at the pros, can we look at the cons? Can we talk about the root cause of this new norm? First, governance. It's no news that we've been unlucky with our choices of leaders this past decade. And we can see that clearly in the current state of the country. If this is one of the major reasons that people jackpot, what then should we be looking to hear from incoming government officials? What new promises will convince people to stay put and not consider leaving this country? Economy. The Nigerian economy is a mess. We are in the dark era. We are payout stays the same, but the cost of living keeps going higher. The value of a dollar to Naira is now at 610 Naira per dollar. We are consuming more than we are producing and still heavily dependent on other countries for our finished oil and food. No independence in sight. How will such an economy convince people to stay and not jackpot? Value of life. We all know that the value of life in Nigeria is equal to zero. No 911 or emergency response units to come to your aid. In fact, if you do get some good Samaritans to come to your aid, there's no assurance that the hospital will have space for you or have oxygen tank. Once you are in a ghastly accident, you can see the end in sight with little or no hope. How then will such situation convince someone to stay and not jump up? Security. Insecurity in Nigeria is at an all-time high, from mob killing to SARS and police officials harming instead of protecting to help to help robbing and killing their bosses because they know they can get away with it. You could be driving back from work and get stabbed inside your car. You could walk down the street and have your bags snatched by little boys, no much older than 14. You have to stay in constant paranoia, otherwise you become a prey. How will such in insecurity convince someone to stay and not japa? Opportunities. After spending years in school and coming out with a first class, what jobs or type of living is available to you? Many a times we've seen first class graduates become bond sellers or POS merchants. No opportunity to practice what they studied. No opportunity to earn a living from it. How then will such a situation convince us to stay and not japa. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to respond to you. You have made your argument, and sadly, it's true. Unfortunately, the the only way out of Nigeria. Yeah, I'm going to point out three major things. Number one, managing diversity. Just like I said before, um, there is something I discovered in a documentary from the United Arab Emirates. Do you know that the government is intentional about enforcing? unity and diversity, uh, managing diversity among Christians and Muslims. There's a mosque in United Arab Emirates within churches that is called um, the, uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus mosque. They mm. named it because of, in honor of the Christians around that area. Mm -hmm. Because they are trying to tell them that we are different religion, but let's stick together and make the country work. If Nigeria can manage diversity, I, I guess our insecurity issues will reduce drastically because most of our insecurity issues are due to ethno-religious problems. We know there are other, other things along the side. And the other one is structure. Mm. We need proper structure in the country. Um, and our MDAs need to function so that they can have policies that will support local businesses and be an enabling environment for foreign investments that people can come and invest in this country and provide opportunity for young people. It's not wrong for anybody to leave any country if he wish to. After all, people leave America, but to other countries, reasons best known to them. But in Nigeria, it's because we have this mindset that, many people have this mindset that if you don't leave Nigeria, you won't make it. I don't know that you've interacted with millions. Are they wrong? And they are not wrong. Are they wrong? Yeah, in a way, it's, the, it's programming, it's mental No, programming. no, it's not programming. It's I just programming. listed like five. Yeah, I said government, insecurity. Can you take them one by one? Like, we are going to vote 
next year, 2023 year, yeah, we are going to bring a, a new governance. What are they going to say to us that will make the youth want to stay back and not, and not go? Like, these are some points that I need you to be able to say to me as a youth that I might be considering Japa. Like, what, what, what are they going to bring to the table? In security, I could live here now in my car. Once I get stuck in traffic, any, but any, I'll be scared for my life because anybody can bust my window. What are you saying to me that would make me stay? Knowing that that situation can happen, like I'm, I, I think you're being <laughs> Elijah, I'm very, very I think that your response is so academic. Yeah, so it sounds like oh, so something that we, you're supposed to just we are coming from a naive situation. No. So no, I'm no, going no. somewhere. No, because you sound I'm going very somewhere. oh academic. Yeah, and I'm going somewhere. This is okay. our reality. So I want you to get the, to where the, you're the going yeah. so that I can the say what I want to say. Lies and stop at the decks of the government. These people, they go out. They see how outside this country function and they are happy to go buy properties there. When they come back, they leave the country the way it is. Whether you like it or not, build houses in and have 10 million houses in London and the US. And uh, we have many Nigerians, Jack Barin, let me use that language. You still, we still have to care for our country because it's our country. You go. Unfortunately, you I, 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 you unfortunately Elijah, Let's actually Nigeria ceases to be their country once they get to that country and they get on the right of on whatever yes. you call it. Because you see, I'm home and I do not have the rights that should be accorded to me as a citizen. Yeah. And then I go to a foreign place. I am welcomed. I get a job. Security is paramount. I can mm. pick up the phone and call 911. I'm sick. I can call the ambulance. Mm -hmm. Nobody's asking me to pay up front before they look after uh, me. Yeah. What is not Ojapa? That is why I said the structure. The government have to pay attention to structure. Responding to 911. What no government? What government? The government of the what? day. That is not. We have our government. So in my mind, I'm Some thinking. Of them are okay. I don't know who those people that you are talking about. I don't know where they are. I don't know whether they've been born yet. Because I'm mm -hmm. thinking in my newspaper, I'm reading about some mighty, mighty figures. 1.9 trillion trillion naira that somebody just ate. <laughs> 9.5 billion, 400 and I'm thinking, my goodness, billion. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then you are saying the government, which government they, are you talking they, about? They, I don't they, understand. They, like if I, I when said, you've said what you said, mm -hmm. then, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. When you said what you said, all those things that you were list, listing out, I just felt like just lying down and just crying. That's yeah. what I feel like doing because, and this is me who loves Nigeria. Mm -hmm. This is me who has been hopeful for my 50 something plus years that Nigeria is going to get better every day. I'm thinking Nigeria is going to get better. But now, I do not have even a moral justification to tell anybody who wants to leave to not to leave. Because what are you, it, it, you... You're talking about the ideal, but there's no ideal. There's no ideal. I can't... Anybody that wants... I don't even... Call, I call it escaping. All the people who are <laughs> escaping. So I don't say they're relocating. I'm mm -hmm. like, they're just escaping. And I'm like, can't I just follow you and just so escape I'm, with I'm, you? And I'm going to give two scenarios that are personal to me. So I have a cousin. She wasn't good in school at all she wasn't mm. good at um school work and then if, no matter how they disciplined her no matter how the lesson teacher we brought that just wasn't a decent and then when she finished secondary school before she got she wrote jambo before the result and all mm. this and came during that interim she she was working for a restaurant in lagos um doing for an internship or whatnot they were paying her peanuts but just so she does not sit at mm. home before university result came but then um, her mom was able to work something else out. She was able to travel abroad. Mm. When she got there, she joined a female soccer team. She's doing very well. She wasn't good with education. Mm. She was good at soccer. At, with soccer, she's able to send money home to her parents. With soccer, she's like, if she was here in Nigeria, she's, she's like, there. There. That's, that's the opportunity. I can imagine how bad they made her feel here. We don't have that structure. That's the no opportunity structure. I'm talking because about. Now, education right didn't work. You see an opportunity for something else to work. In America, you see a work that I'm an influencer and that's what the person does. And they're making a good living. Is there that opportunity yet? That's one scenario. Second scenario, is this girl going home from work? She was driving, she passed through our Eco Bridge um, traffic held that mm. up. And then this guy saw that it was um, a girl driving only in the car. They busted her window. He wanted to stab her in the neck, but she oh, was what? able to for her shoulder just to get a phone that you would sell for 20,000 euros. Are you telling me if that girl, which we've already told her she should travel, if that girl comes to you and say, what do you think? Should I just put all you my savings together oh, and leave? Are you to going just... to look at her in her eyes and say, no, still stay and fight? Like, 
what's the rationale be, be, behind saying that someone like that should stay? Like, and I don't, I just don't understand it. And I'm bringing this up just so that I can be convinced, or maybe you have something to say that 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 won't paint the picture as bad. Because because I have a brother that's finished university that's sitting at home. And, and getting, getting the job for where he studied, he studied political science. Getting a job to fit that, it's not, it's not happening. So that's another Structure. thing. If so, I, like, if, I don't if, understand. If I, that's, another, if I don't like, that's another thing. You know, like, so I know for a fact that when you're in a Western country, mm -hmm. they don't really care about your university degree. Because I have not. three children that have been to university and all that. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Because exactly. whatever job you get, they're going to train you exactly. for that job. So in Nigeria, they like, you must be a lawyer, you must be a... My daughter, when she did law, and then she decided that she doesn't want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. She's actually doing her master's and is in law school, but she said that she doesn't want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So she's got a job in compliance. She's had to learn everything from scratch, but she will soon be like, <laughs> you know, that is her call. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't, the fact that she has a law degree has no bearing on what she's doing now. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't say education didn't work for your cousin. I think it's the kind of education. Even why she no! was... No! No, what I'm saying is that why she was doing her soccer stuff there, because that environment, their concept of education is not like, like our concept of education here. Yeah. Our education is book. Get, go and read book, book, get certificate. Their own education is practical. solving problems yeah. and being fit to where your passion lies. That's education. So you won't say education didn't work for No, I'm not. I, I, no, think, don't get me wrong. I never you said academics. I didn't I think, say education didn't work for her. I said if she was still here, she would still be languishing. She, she will be a shadow of herself. Demoralized. Herself, the kind of demoralized with there. nothing to show for herself. In just four years that she has moved she would even send me money the education they worked for her i, I the know our difference problem is, okay. is very clear. i think the question is a, the question you were asking no, sure. is what can somebody say to you to convince to them. convince you to, to stay to like what, what i personally i like i said i have no moral <laughs> just i cannot <laughs> ask anybody to stay but yeah. and that makes me sad yeah because i believe in nigeria I and I love Nigeria. And my fear is, what's going to happen to these children who are growing up, and even the ones that are unborn? Yeah. The best of Nigerians' brains. Mm -hmm. They're just living in droves. Yeah. Every day you go to the hospital, you ask for your doctor. Your doctor has jackpot. Your yeah. nurse has jackpot. <laughs> Only the hospital is still, <laughs> is still standing. Everybody who works yeah. there has left. And... It's sad because they're living to better. You can see that they're living to better. Yeah, sure. So the only way, way area that I will agree with you is until our government gets up and do something. You know, I've thought of, can't somebody just come like a Rawlings and just do the Rawlings? Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or Donald okay. Trump. Oh, you know, okay, I'm, just, okay. I, I'm just like, yeah, I want okay. to just, so I don't need to go. We need yeah. to get your PVC. Let's start with that one first. I'm yes. Going to to get your PVC. You're right. Um... The only action is I cannot okay, convince okay. you. Okay, okay, PVC. Get your PVC. Elijah, votes. okay, PVC. Yes, yeah. Who, uh, Peter Obi has just absconded to another party. He has not yet so entered who, that party. Okay, who is APC? Okay, look at APC. And tell me who they're bringing that. Even if you have your PVC, you would I want to vote, vote for. And that's yeah. what she's saying. Who among these people are we even going to say, oh, this person can save us? You know, I don't politics, see a desire. Anything, 24 hours is quite a very long time for anything to happen. So let's watch and see what happens. Okay. Why we hope that the parties will bring for credible credible individuals I, get your pvc that's only what i would advise if okay. you complain about nigeria if you ask me mm -hmm. you ask, get your pvc <laughs> we will, we will. Your i have PVC. my pvc your, let's try <laughs> i have my pvc Vote. i have been voting Vote since democracy our, yeah. restarted mm. i have been voting sometimes i have voted for people knowing that this person is not going to win. But my conscience would not allow me to, to vote, vote for, for someone that i know that they probably cooked and that person is going to yeah. come anyway yeah if I, I don't know. I cannot tell you not to jackpot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell. I don't think that anyone can tell anyone, anyone right now. Even parents me. are like, please, jackpot, we can get the sent for me. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, that and is I, why I said this thing has become from reality to ingrained in our mind that we just believe that the country cannot work unless you jackpot. These same people that are causing problems in the country, when they go out there, they respect their system. Uh, they respect their system and they, they so why do they not like, why why are they causing because they the government will not work. no because the government will not enforce any laws which is government yeah. i'm talking about the, no, the in government constituted authority oh, okay which are part of the people they have their family members abroad mm -hmm. many of them have uh, second citizenship yeah absolutely when they go to those countries they do very well 
There was Actually, a bill. But when they come here, they just believe it's Nigeria. There was a bill that somebody was trying to pass recently. I think Sergius Ogun's in the House of Representatives, where he was saying that they should ban uh, is it children of um, public Police. office holders going abroad to school. Of course, they knocked it down because yeah. they know that they yeah, have not put anything in place yeah. Yeah. to make sure that their children stay here. Yeah. And that is just as everything else in Nigeria. It's just that. I'm just at the point where I'm almost... I, I don't know if we're even allowed to say this on TV because, I mean, we should at some point be able to encourage people and be like, oh, this is Nigeria. But yeah. I'm just so sad and I'm getting to the point where I'm just losing hope mm -hmm. in this country because the people that we have elected mm -hmm. to build, they, they seem to not care or want to. What comes to my mind is there's this place in the Bible where God was telling um, one of the kings and saying that, oh, because you did this, this is what I'm going to do to you. And the king was like, it's okay. You are going to do it after I'm dead. It's not me who is going to suffer for it. Yeah, and children. I can just, it's my children, so it's okay. I won't be here. Yeah. But you must care about what happens to your yeah, children. children. Leaders they think don't about say, the future. Politicians think about the next election. We only have politicians Many people in Nigeria. We don't just have any leader. We don't 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 have any leader. You destroy the system. And when you are done, you carry your family and go to America to go and stay. Uh, <laughs> then the country suffers. <laughs> no, that's what happens now. I that's think, what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I brought up this topic because I I have my answer. You're about mind. to japa. No 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 not because I'm about to japa. Um, because I'm a startup founder and there are other startup founders that I'm friends with and we are building for this country. So you're staying. Because because are you staying? Because, because if the government won't do over. it, if the government won't do, won't it, do it, then we are doing it ourselves. Absolutely. And, and what we are facing now is that they are bringing up. Regu um, regulation to, to block what we are trying to do. But still, regardless, we are doing it because um, we like Japan. We like move out of this country to go and live in another, another country. No. But we like move to the, we, we like go to other countries to see what's going on there yes. and then come back to still build out, continue building out my team. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'll be doing. But we like take my siblings out of this country if of course, it, they, they are going to leave this country. Will my children be born in this country? No. But will I stay in this country to build out my startup with my wow. fellow startup um, colleagues? Yes, I will. If they will let you. You know, because being an entrepreneur myself, I, I don't know how any government would make it so difficult oh for humans to thrive and help them. So I am an employer of labor. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I am helping the government because these are people who otherwise would not have a job and yes. will constitute again to a problem or nuisance for the society. Yes. Is the government helping me to achieve this? Are they helping to make sure that I succeed? No. No. Diesel, you cannot do be you cannot do business without diesel. The diesel is not to be hard or it's to be hard at a price that is too high. Yes. Is there no, power? Is there electricity? No. No. So again, you is think to yourself, is no. there security? Our brothers no. need sit at home. So <laughs> we are paying taxes and all. Then in where I live, we have gates almost at every street. Mm -hmm. So we're still paying estate dues for our own security, security. again because the government has the refused to provide security. So yeah. we're providing security. When Transformer gets spoiled, we're buying Transformer. Right. We're yeah. doing, it's just... It's just too much, and it's just wrong. Yeah. Just imagine what is happening now. I'm just trying to imagine the brilliant ideas that Governor Soludo talked about before he became governor. Uh, now he's there now. He's trying to make it work. Look at the way they are frustrating him. They become so, redundant. They become redundant. He's from from now fighting to power. from Sitatum to, you know, they beheld it. Uh, last week, the, you heard of the the, the woman, no lawmaker. Okay. No, I'm not even oh, talking the about law, okay. the lawmaker that was beheld. His uh -huh. head was, yes. and I think we're in Vikings. And they hung this. Head on his oh my God! Before yes. they killed that woman in and her children in, in Anambra State. In Anambra State, yes. nobody has been brought now, to book. Oh, nobody is, has been brought to book. People are scared there. Mm. The governor has brilliant idea, but now it can't work now because yeah. you see how the state is. The now he, the Igbos or the indigenous that are outside doing well outside. I hope they hope they are, will come back to set up businesses. Uh, when they see that, they're not they coming back come. now. Yeah, they, they can't they come. They will be scared of coming back. They cannot come. So, so again, I think that the psyche the east. If you go is to the everywhere. North, the same thing. So, our psyche needs to be rejigged. I don't know. It's like they should just give birth to every Nigerian again and put something Let in us. Let me throw a little bit of humor. So, okay. Yoruba people to the rescue. If the east is burning now and the north is burning now, <laughs> this is, this is, is not lobbying. 
We just want to have our own oh, and their party. We just want to party. <laughs> we just want to party. And shout. <laughs> That's what we want but to Let's have. not be fooled but, by yeah. the fact that you think Lagos is really exclusive, so you're okay. No, no we no, don't know. Obviously, what she's talked about, those are the things that are happening in Lagos. Speaking, yeah. Generally speaking. Because people think, oh, it's happening in this, it's happening in us. No concern. It's ideally Lagos. Be more killing up in Lekki. No, the question is, it's too close for comfort. Anything can happen anytime. Yeah. To be honest with you, you know what I'm looking forward to? I am looking for someone to just come and shake the table, turn everything upside down, and give APC a run, a serious run for their money, both in Lagos and Nigeria as a whole. politicians I think not the same people so moving from PDP to APC, APC to PDP. They are the same like people. Some people now. Look at like Banky W. My just analogy, won House of Reps for a TIOSA local government. There is hope. Yes. But I'm thinking, where are these NSAS people? This is time for all of them to come out. I would have thought to see more I, of I them yeah. to in politics. New, I hope yeah. they do. I hope they but do. But to me, I don't see any reason as changing parties to solve problems. Because if you... If you if you see a man that has a very nasty character and you call him X Y Z, his name is X Y Z. I'm not and voting for parties. The man changed his name to E B C. He's still the same. He's still the same. Me, I'm not voting for party. I'm voting for individuals. Right? Yeah. So I may vote for one, one person in A P C for gubernatorial. I may vote for somebody I think we have in Labour Party. Nigerians. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. We have great Nigerians, good Nigerians. Oh, we do. If you, if you travel across Africa, you know. They don't have the necessary. Maybe financial or support or, or grassroots sort of mobilization to that. get there. Because yeah. some of these so called we would probably go on and on politicians and on that are corrupt, they have held captive the people. We would so probably go on and on and on because we have so much to say and very little time to say it in. So we thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hope our conversations resonated with you and that in some small way encourage you to contribute to your immediate environment. Little drops of water, they say, makes a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time on the station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. Bye.